Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 28th. Uh, We're going to jump right in here, Capricorn, and we're going to see what is going on for you at this time. Uh, I'm only going to do one part to these readings, and uh, I will be clarifying in this reading as well, but I have a little bit of a time crunch again this week, so we're just going to do one part readings. Uh, I'm using the Prisma Visions Tarot as well, if you're wondering what deck this is, but uh, it looks like a really good reading. You end with the sun. Uh, you start with the hermit, so um, it's kind of funny because um, the, the hermit and the sun are kind of like total opposites. Again, not accurate tarot, but um, you know the hermit can be a little bit more withdrawn. The sun is like you know blasting yourself out there, right? The hermit he normally has like the star inside of the lantern that he is holding on the card. So in your current general energies, you could be feeling a little bit more withdrawn with the hermit this could be because be because of what you have been going through for the past like several years the hermit he's been climbing to the top of the mountain he's have been, been having like a dark night of the soul or some challenges that he's been experiencing so part of me feels that you could be just feeling more withdrawn at this time because of challenges that you have been experiencing in general uh, your crossing energy, your challenge basically is the lovers. <laughs> so uh, this could be love. It does not have to be. This really could say that your challenge is picking the new path. You've been withdrawn. Now it's time to open up. Like that is the challenge here with the lovers. I do feel like love could be a little bit of a challenge, like if you want it or um, even if you kind of want it. You know, some of you I feel want love. Other Like, like I think it's like 33, 33, 33, right? It's like I think some of you, like a third of you, definitely want love. I feel like some of you kind of want it. I feel like others just don't want it. (laughs) So take it how it resonates, Capricorn. I feel like you're one of those signs. But what I'd say here is if you kind of want it or if you want it, I feel like some of you, it's like you kind of want it, you kind of don't want it with the lovers. And even in the area of your thoughts, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is like, Uh, kind of like enjoying your alone time. So I feel for some of you, if you're like not sure about love or if you're kind of thinking about it, I feel like you're kind of just trying to see or think about like how it would fit into your life. It's like maybe there's certain things you enjoy doing where you know that if you had a partner, maybe you'd have to give those things up or maybe you think that you would have to give those things up that you enjoy doing, right? And mm, I just kind of see you thinking about it. Definitely looks like there could be love coming in in general. Uh, For others, Nine of Pentacles, I feel like your thoughts are just on kind of um, luxuries, on kind of creating more freedom with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles isn't really a card of freedom, but it kind of is because, it, you know, it's a card of gratitude and luxuries. It's a card of having the nicer things in life, whatever that means for you. We all want different things. And um, she has the nicer things in life. And it doesn't have to be money. It could be experiences. It could be people. It could be anything. She has those things on the Nine of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like you're, that's what I mean by freedom. It's like when we have the nicer things in life, typically we're more free. Typically we have more freedom or we feel that we have more freedom in general. And that's what I feel like you're thinking here. Uh, even in the area of your foundation, you have the temperance card. Um, you're like the third sign <laughs> that has had the temperance card in that exact position. So I feel like there's like a lot of opportunity around you. I feel like you're seeing a lot of opportunities. I feel like you're seeing how uh, things could be changing or how you can change things as well. And I feel really that's what this is talking about. Temperance isn't a card of opportunity necessarily, but it kind of is. Normally there's a path that is going up a mountain and there's a there's like a glowing crown at the top of the mountain. Then it represents the path to glory, the path to some sort of opportunity or something that you want. The temperance card is also like looking to change things. And I feel, uh, I don't normally say that, but that's what I feel for you. I feel like you're kind of like looking at all situations in your life and you're saying, like, how can I make this fit into my Nine of Pentacles life? How can I make this uh, kind of, you know, fit into it? You know, the Temperance card is about like molding something. You know, it's about kind of crafting the life you desire. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. I like it. Uh, In the past, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about being very bold and assertive, really going for what you want. Uh, even though it's kind of weird that she's coming up in your past because I feel like you still are embracing this energy, which is a good thing. Like, I feel like you're very bold. I feel like you're very assertive. I feel like you're trying to make things happen. I feel like you're moving quickly towards things that you want to happen as well. So it's not like, a, you know, I feel like you're very assertive at this time. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know where I was going with that, but Um, I still feel like you're embracing that energy. Over the next few months, or actually in the near future, this week, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles can represent being too cautious, needing to open up, um, needing to start planting seeds. Again, normally he has an empty field behind him. 
And that empty field kind of represents the fact that he needs to start planting in that empty field. He needs to start putting in the work to see what can grow. And that's what I feel for you here with the Knight of Pentacles. Is it? It's like if you're thinking about starting anything new, any projects or whatever, I feel like you need to start planting seeds. That doesn't mean you're like diving headfirst into anything necessarily, but it does mean you're allowing things to grow. I also feel if you're thinking about opening up to love, that that card kind of says, give it a chance, give it a shot, see what happens. Because you have the Eight of Wands <laughs> and the Eight of Wands is... A quick success. Uh, in a lot of ways, if you're, if there is a person coming in for you, I feel that I've said this to you a hundred times in the past that there could be a person coming in, and it could be quite, you know, it could be a surprise kind of here uh, for you, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like it's going to be successful like very quickly with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, quick success. It's also a card of quick conclusion. But it's a really good card. The Eight of Wands is like your rockets of desire, as Esther Hicks calls them. You know, she says, we're always telling the universe what we want. And the universe is responding with inspiration, steps that we can take, or ideas that lead us closer to our goal, wish, or dream. And I kind of feel that this Eight of Wands is saying that over the next few months, it's going to be very important for you to be very, very clear about your like what you want and your expectations. Uh, next in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Six of Cups. Um, number one, I do feel like there could be a soulmate coming in for you with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of the soulmate or true love coming in for you. So I do feel there could be love coming in with the Six of Cups, someone who makes you very happy. Uh, I also feel like you're just being supported in your closest relationships in general. Again, that area of the reading is just your closest relationship. So I feel like you're feeling supported, very childlike energy. So it could be like a lot of fun for you at this time as well. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Four Swords. Four Swords is a card of recovery. So I feel like you feel like you're recovering. It's also a card of blessings though as well. And you know what's interesting is normally there's a stained glass window in the top corner of the Four Swords. And, it, and the, there's a person who's receiving blessings in that stained glass window. It's like there are blessings coming in for you. The difference is I feel like you're feeling very motivated and you can see these blessings before they actually show up, which is nice. You end with the sun, which we're gonna talk about in a second, which is like a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. But I feel like it's because you're feeling motivated. It's like sometimes I think we work towards something and we don't really know, like, am I gonna get the reward? Am I, am I gonna see the result? And I, am I gonna accomplish what I wanna accomplish or not? I feel like you're feeling motivated actually with this Four Swords. Again, I know that's not what the Four Swords means. I read intuitively um, and that's what I'm getting here. Uh, you have the sun as your outcome. So happiness, joy, best card in the deck. <laughs> uh, I feel like things are going to be going very, very well for you here, Capricorn with the sun card. I feel like, again, I feel like there's a lot of happiness, a lot of joy uh, coming in for you in general with that sun energy. So let's see, I just wanna clarify through here and see where this reading is going in general. Uh, with the Hermit and the Lovers, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is like quality work or building something of quality. Something has changed with the way that you see love is what I'm getting here. Um, if you're looking for love, I feel like you're, it's like you understand that um, like the way, like the type of person you want, I feel it's like you're not settling, but that's not even, that, those aren't the words that I'm getting <laughs> here, Capricorn. I feel like it's like you're understanding like what creates a good person to be with. I, like, I feel like you're starting at the foundation of a person, if that makes sense, where it's like you're saying, you know, I understand that I need a person who has this type of background, for example, or who has this foundation. Again, I don't necessarily think that um, we're screwed if we have a bad background. So again, like I said, I feel like you could be saying, you know what, I'm gonna try to attract a person who is working on themselves or who understands how to work on themselves at least. You know, I'm just giving you an example here. It's like there's something about their foundation that's popping into my head. For others, even if you're not attracted to love, um, or you don't want love, Three of Pentacles to me is like saying that you're working really hard at this time, especially the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like that your finances are increasing uh, due to the quality of work that you do. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Two of Swords. And yeah, again, I mean, it's like, I, I, I get like the whole double-edged sword thing here, um, Capricorn. Like if you want love, I feel like you see it both ways. Like you see, <laughs> I feel like you see that it could be good. I feel like you see that it could be something that would be nice to have in your life. But then I feel like you also see it like you don't want it <laughs> in your life. Or, you know, you kind of see like the challenging side of it as well with the two of swords. I, f I really feel this reading is asking you to try something. Um, it, I don't think it's saying you have to have something in your life forever if you don't want it. But um, two of swords, Normally she's sitting there with the swords crossed over her chest and there's a new island behind her. It's like she only, ha her perspective is only like what she has experienced up until this point. She doesn't realize that there's a new perspective behind her and 
on the traditional two of swords. And I kind of feel like this is encouraging you to try something else or to try something, um, you know, to give something a chance and to try to view it from a new perspective. Again, it doesn't have to be love either. I, with the lovers, lovers can just be at being at a crossroads and just says pick the new path. It could be trying a business in a different way. It could be trying your health in a different way. You know, take it how it resonates. With the temperance card, you have the judgment card. So I feel like you are waking up here with the judgment card. I feel like you're receiving a lot of feedback as well. I'm getting the word feedback popping into my head with the judgment card, which is pretty weird. Um, this is coming up in your foundation. So if you're like working on any projects or whatever, it's like this could be a good thing. Like I said, with that four swords, it makes sense because the four swords is kind of getting like this feedback thing where it's like you see it's like you see what you're working towards, but it's different because it's like within your reach, you know? Um, and I think that's the difference with the four swords. Normally we're just dreaming of what we want and whether we get it or not is, you know, not really, it's, it's like we have to do the work or it's not up to us. It's like you've been working towards something with that four swords. And it's like something is finally within reach. And I feel like you're getting feedback for whatever reason on the judgment card where it's like, you know what to do now. It's like, you know, okay, I have to keep working in this direction so I can get this result. Uh, very interesting. Uh, with the Knight of Sword, uh, Knight of Pentacles, I mean, you have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is all the work that you've done in the past. Um, Ten of Wands can represent a lot of burdens. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it could say that you're being too cautious or you're not putting work into things because of past experiences. Ten of Wands says, release the burden. <laughs> and it's like saying, you know, future situations aren't necessarily going to be the same as what you have experienced in the past. You know, I get a lot of comments from people that are like, oh, you know, um, I I don't open up in love because of all these times I was hurt in the past. I'm like, well, that's basically saying that you're, you don't grow, that you don't change and that situations don't change. It's like if we're learning from those situations, then we shouldn't be experiencing them again in the future because we grow, we change, we learn how to deal with things differently. We should be learning the warning signs to look out for and all that other good stuff. So I feel like the Ten of Wands is saying release the burdens from the past. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Magician. The Magician is a total new beginning. It's funny that I said your rocket's a desire on the Eight of Wands in the first place. So clearly I feel like you are attracting like a lot of new things into your life with the Magician. I feel like you're attracting a lot of success as well with the Magician here. Um, but I feel like there's like new opportunities coming in for you because of the Magician. We really, the Magician normally has flowers in front of him and it really says we need to focus on like joy, happiness, you know, all the good things so that we attract good things into our life. With the Six of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups, uh, everybody's had the Queen of Cups this week, um, which is kind of weird. Queen of Cups says, focus on your emotions. Um, and again, this came up a lot in the quarterly readings as well. So clearly there's, for some reason, we need to be very careful of our emotions, or I feel like we need to fo focus on positive emotions so that we can attract good things into our lives. Uh, this could also be love coming in for you. <laughs> it could be a water sign coming for you. It could be any sign. You have fire here as well, uh, Gemini is also here. So it could be any sign that's coming in for you, but I feel like the Queen of Cups could be love. With the Four of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands. There you go. Ace of Wands is a card of inspiration. You know, it's a very good card. Um, my favorite card in the deck. It's like, sometimes I feel that the Ace of Wands is the only thing we need to be motivated. Sometimes I feel like the Ace of Wands is just like that, that one thing we need to, that pushes us forward, that makes us successful, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like this is just the one thing you need, you know, it's like that spark of creativity, the spark of life, or like that spark that motivates you to success. And like I said, I feel like something is within your reach, you know, with that uh, Four Swords. Uh, with the Sun, you have the Emperor. The Emperor is like sticking to a plan. So I would stick to the plan because I feel like you're going to accomplish the sun, basically. The sun is happiness or joy or, you know, something that you want. So I would stick to the plan with the Emperor energy. I just want to get more. I'm going to pull three more cards because I, I just want to see more about this um, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Swords energy there, Capricorn, like. What's going on here? You have the Knight of Swords. Don't rush towards it, but uh, I feel like your hard work is paying off in general with the Knight of Swords, so I like to see that. Uh, you have the Chariot Victory. <laughs> like I said, you are clearly charging towards a victory very quickly with the um, Knight, of Swords, Knight of Swords as well. The Chariot is like a card of willpower, so I feel like you need to like really keep pushing towards your goals here. But again, something is motivating you. It's like it's within your reach. So it's like this victory is within your reach. And you have the four wands. Four wands, card of freedom. It's also a card of uh, celebration as well. And it can be a card of marriage, but it doesn't have to be marriage. It can just be a card of freedom. And I said that with the nine of pentacles at the beginning of your reading, I was getting something about freedom. And so I feel like you are just charging towards a victory at this time. 
or it's like a victory is within your reach. So uh, I love this for you here. Capricorn looks really good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.